Today we're going to talk about the development of supercell thunderstorms and tornadoes and what kind of ingredients we need to get these to form. What we need is what we call wind shear. And what that is is we're going to see winds of different speeds from different directions as you head up the atmosphere, warm moist air at the surface, cool dry air in the mid-levels of the atmosphere, and that kind of causes the atmosphere to tumble over and we get a horizontal spinning of the atmosphere all across the area. And as the earth heats up, the air rises and we get clouds and thunderstorms to form and we can sometimes tilt this horizontal tube and it becomes vertical. We get what we call a supercell thunderstorm. Now the reason it's called a supercell thunderstorm, it's a steady state storm, meaning it has a rotating updraft that continues to strengthen and as it does so, we can get a cloud lowering where that updraft is. We call that a wall cloud and sometimes a funnel cloud and the end result could be a tornado occasionally and here you go. This happened last year in May in Oklahoma, an EF2 tornado. All the right ingredients came together to cause a pretty big severe weather outbreak that day. Thankfully,